Hello. In this video, we're going to try to demonstrate increasing and decreasing intervals of a function. This is sometimes confusing for students because you have to keep track of which is x and which is y. Increasing and decreasing, the words increasing and decreasing, refer to the y value of the function because intervals are always read left to right. The interval that we're interested in, the intervals that we are interested in, are read on the, off of the x-axis. And the x-axis always goes from left to right, from negative numbers to positive. So let's take a look at this function, which is x cubed my, uh, plus 3x squared minus 1. And the red dot will indicate the value of the function at each point. So if we trace from left to right, we see that the function is increasing, then it turns and goes decreasing, and then it starts increasing again. All right, so let's try that again. Presumably, we start at negative infinity. Uh, at negative infinity on the x-axis, we have a very, very low value for the function. So as we trace left to right, we are now increasing. And we stop increasing at x equals negative 2. Then we start, the function value starts decreasing from x equals negative 2 to x equals 0. And then we start increasing again presumably to positive infinity. So how are we going to translate that into an interval? So we're going to say that our function is increasing at two intervals. We have the interval that starts at negative infinity and ends at this point right here, which was x equals negative 2. So that's our first interval. Also, it's increasing at the interval that starts at x equals 0 and ends at positive infinity. So those are our two increasing intervals. And again, we read from left to right. Decreasing, the decreasing interval is the one in the middle. Again, we're looking at the x values. We're not looking at the y values. We are decreasing from x equals negative 2 to x equals 0. And we're using parentheses to denote the endpoints of our intervals because we're not really talking about what the endpoint is, whether it is included or not. So we just use parentheses for convention. So our function is increasing, decreasing, and increasing again. 